are there you know examples that pop up in your mind of a particular article you read or a particular moment or a particular reaction from someone that just kind of really they did a lot worse than you expected and it was a deep disappointment i think i was surprised and vocally publicly very disappointed in bernie sanders tell um, us why yeah in may 2021 and i pulled this up i pulled this up and shared this in may 2021 i think it was a week a week of israel tormenting people in Palestine and Bernie put out an email and a social media post calling for an immediate ceasefire, linking a petition for his followers and his supporters to sign the petition demanding an immediate ceasefire. That was a week. It took him four months, maybe at this point, it was four months into the genocide in Gaza where he started speaking up aggressively he still hasn't called it a genocide. I can recall clearly a soundbite where he says that the, the talk of calling it a genocide makes me queasy. Yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> and in the same vein, AOC. Um, is AOC, AOC, does it go back to May 2021 or is it since October 7th? Since October 7th. Um, I know here in Brooklyn, she was accosted, I guess, accosted, approached um by people at a movie theater and they were saying to her call it a genocide and her reaction was so ridiculous like you're not helping anyone um you can't you can't do this you can't approach me like this and maybe a week later she was on the house floor calling it a genocide but that was still almost six months into the genocide where she felt like she had the backbone to do it um and that is disappointing for me as somebody who has looked up to her as a young person getting involved in Congress, who is seemingly progressive, genuinely progressive. Um, I was very disgusted with both her and Bernie. I still am. And I don't know if you're going to want to run this part, but I was at an event in D.C. on Monday um, for the launch of Zateo, the new Maddie media thing. Yeah. Um, AOC was the special guest of that event and he was asking her, you know, a lot of young people particularly, but a lot of progressive people are frustrated by how long it took you to call this a genocide. And she gave such a word salad response, wouldn't call it a genocide at the event. Um, he asked if she felt that the Biden administration was complicit again, word salad. Uh, her answer was very much, well, there's a famine, a pending, an impending famine, um, and if we don't do anything, then we're complicit. So that, for me, kind of solidified, like, it's going to take so much more pressure from people to get her to where she needs to be if she wants to be the progressive hero that she acts like she is.